Hey Shafiq, what are you doing? I'm reading about an article about the Tanjung Bunga incident. You know what happened? Obviously I know, the thing happened because they never follow EIA rules and regulation. So, what is the idea actually? Just look there. Oh hi! Did someone ask about the environmental impact assessment, also known as EIA? Well, this is the video for you. So, EIA by definition is... A study to identify, predict, evaluate and communicate information about the impacts on the environment on the environment of a proposed project and to detail out the mitigation measures prior to project approval and implementation. Now, there are three objectives in EIA, which are... Avoid environmental impacts by using EIA at an early stage as possible in the development. Next, prevent adverse environmental impacts from the development. And lastly, help authorities in planning of resource or land use, infrastructure like roads and railways. Good. Next are things to consider prior to EIA studies, which are project concept and site selection. Yeah. The prescribed activities subjected to EIA are Agriculture, airport, drainage and irrigation, land reclamation, fisheries, forestries, housing, industry, infrastructure, ports, mining, petroleum, power generation and transmission, quarries, railways, transportation, resort and recreational development, waste treatment and disposal, and finally, water supply. The EIA procedures adopted in Malaysia are detailed EIA and preliminary EIA. Preliminary EIA is an assessment of impacts due to those activities that are prescribed. Detailed EIA is a procedure undertaken for those projects with major or significant impacts to the environment. The detailed EIA involves EIA report display for the public and affected community to comment. Do you know EIA falls under Environmental Quality Order 1987? Communication and documentation is also important throughout the full EIA studies. Of the full EIA study includes scoping, evaluating baseline situation, identifying and choosing alternatives, identifying and characterizing potential impacts of proposed activity and each alternative, comparing alternatives, and lastly, develop mitigation and monitoring. In a nutshell, these are the things that you should know about EIA.